Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Tola. If you're not all subscribed, welcome back to the channel. So in today's video, I decided to open up and share about my experience. <laughs> straight in today's video make sure that you guys do subscribe post notifications on and by the way guys i would love to hear your feedbacks if you have anything that i should improve on feel free to leave them in the comment section and i will take it into consideration so let's dive straight in so throw back to 2019 it wasn't an intended gap year but it ended up being one it wasn't it was an unplanned gap year uh, yeah, so I didn't know what I wanted to do because the course that I wanted to enroll in, mean, unfortunately, I did not have enough points for it. So I was like, I'm, I don't know, man. Let's just go and upgrade. We'll come back, try again next year. <laughs> but of course, that didn't go as planned. Um, I was introduced to this opinion thing thanks to my mom and her friend. <laughs> So I was introducing to this okay thing. We did our research, we uh, found a lot of agencies and then we ended up finding cultural okay. We went there and we called them. We told them that we're interested. They're like, okay, but you guys have to have, you know, I did not have a passport at the time. So they were like, you have to have a passport and a driver's license. I was like, dang it. So they're like, okay, call us back when you get those things. I was like, okay. I had to get those things before they could like proceed with me. You had to get a passport, a driver's license, and yeah, so after getting those two, I reached back uh, to them and told them like, no, I have these uh, things that you guys requested, but snacks, so like, okay, good. And then they said like, give me, so I had this lady um, who used to like, uh, tell me what I should be submitting to them, like who, she, who used to communicate with me, like what's needed from me so she was the one who always like you know, reached out and i would reach out if i had any questions for her i did not understand anything so she told me that you know i do not remember exactly like the following steps that you know the process went by but i remember i had to do a background check i had to um get a doctor's uh, thing like medical check so they had to check uh i think tb so I had to do on my x-ray really. and then immunization card they would also need that yeah I think that's it and from me you know they'd like this to tell me like please submit this so yeah I submitted everything that they requested me before creating my profile there was an orientation held at like the shop that's been it's like the first time that I got to meet um, control key and stuff or control key because I used to talk to them on the phone by emails the first in person you know type of thing <laughs> so yeah we, I got to meet them I got to meet other people to do it there because it was a of course um, and I had questions that I asked them and you know they also kind of like did that get to know type of thing and thing and then from there uh, that's when they told me that we're gonna begin the process of creating a profile so I started creating my profile, did everything that I was needed, submitted everything, pictures, whatever, creating my profile. One thing that I didn't do was a video, which I do highly recommend that you do and submit a video with your application. I, I don't know, but I do feel like you should do that. But I do not have any problems with like getting host families into I did not have it. But I remember mean, they used to say, I'm like, oh, do a video. I had to say that. I can to that, what to say, what to record, like. So I never really got myself to do it because I don't know what to begin. But yeah, but I do highly recommend that you provide the video. Don't do what I did. Uh, anyways, yeah, I was done with my profile. I think a couple of, I don't know if it was a week, days, but it didn't take me long. I started receiving my first uh, family post when they request my profile. I was so excited. They were like, oh, this is the real thing. And I think. I'm so grateful that uh, my parents didn't think like it was a scam or anything like that. They were very much supportive, like they were like 100% all in. And I wasn't working, so it's not like I was gonna pay anything for myself. They were responsible to pay every single thing that I needed to provide or that I needed to do in order for me to make this happen. They were like responsible for paying all right, like I paid 
nothing, zero, low to like up. Um, and then I got my first uh, family request. I was like, this is, this is nice. Where'd you get this from? From Amazon? <laughs> yeah, so I got my first host family request. We started talking, uh, it was a single mom listening. I was a single mom with one child. I was about to say we were a single child. Maybe that makes it doesn't make sense. Whatever. I'm like, it was a single mom with one child. So I was like, okay, this is gonna be gonna be a small sailing. It's gonna be nice, like. Uh, but that wasn't how it went. I accepted. We matched. We used to Skype, and then from there, I think WhatsApp video call. We talked, I met the child, you know, we used to exchange emails um, and then I had to go for my visa interview. So I did my visa and then I went to my visa interview only to find out that your girl did a silly mistake. So instead of saying J1 visa, <laughs> I said K1 visa. So I had to cancel the visa appointment and rescheduled me for another one so I'm like okay what am I gonna do they couldn't do anything about it like nothing they just told me that I'm sorry but I won't be able to like proceed this appointment that I have today because of this area so I got oh great so I went back stressed out don't know what to do call back the agency not the agency but the girl that helps me who is in the agency I was like okay you know I made a mistake instead of saying J1 I said K1 they were like oh sorry um, you will have to pay because we had already booked and I was about to leave in September so they're like your flights for September was really booked so since we have to reschedule with your visa appointment or if your visa interview you will have to pay so we can cancel the flight that you had on September I was like oh wow okay how much is it like 7,500 I'm like oh great mind you They've already paid the program fee. I was like, oh, okay, what am I gonna do now? So I told my mom, so she was upset. The only amount that the money that she's been paying for this whole thing to happen. So we that girl, you know, this is what we need. But yeah, they were able to like uh, rebook me for another visa interview. Like I said, look at my visa. Um, that's why I'm here today. That's my mom. Shout out to my mom and dad. Like, uh, my class was already booked, um, so there was nothing much for me to start with anything. So, like, I feel like I had already matched with my course family. Like, it was all settled. Like, go and get the clan and the family. Just show them notes and just fly down there. <laughs> I left SA on the 15th of October. Yeah, it was on the 15th of October 2019. I knew that that is always going to stay in my head. Like, it's not going anywhere. You know how you know the dates and time that you gave that to a child? How I feel about leaving and say like it's in here. I think I also left around 1 p.m. But that's beside the point. Arrived <laughs> right in New York. I was the happiest. Like I was so happy. Like this was the way to like literally kiss the ground and like be caught because I was so excited. I was so excited. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. Oh child. That feeling which I was feeling right after like the landing day. Oh it's unmissed. So we got the um unfortunately I did not know that there were OPs in that flight, but as soon as like we got up, we got to meet each other. I was like, oh this was nice. I mean there was a girl who was sitting opposite me, which I had a feeling because she looked young and I was like, probably she is one, but my shy ass never approached her. And then uh yeah, I was when we all know talk with other girls. I think it was like maybe like six or eight of us in the flight. They picked us up, we went to uh, the training school which was like amazing, it was so great. Oh made a lot of friends, the food was amazing, that was oh like everything was just great, 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 great. And I remember like we were walking down this uh street for some reason, I don't know why. But maybe it's just me, or maybe like you guys also had the same thing. Like when I got to America, it was like I'm in a movie. Like I feel like I'm in those movies that I used to watch, those teenage movies. <laughs> I feel like I'm in one. But we left, we all went our separate ways, which was very much also a sad goodbye because we had made friends. And then we went to our host family. I remember my host mom and that child picked me up from the airport, and the first food that I found was. Uh, Burger King because I was starving. I don't know why I didn't eat, but I was hungry. 
and I was also scared to like buy stuff because I didn't understand like you know how it works not how it works but like really taking it in if I'm buying something understanding how much I'm spending because I just I kept on converting it into rain and I was like oh my gosh this is so expensive um, I got baby king and then I think a day later she took me to Walmart just so I can like you know settle in and get what I needed and just whatever so yeah I was also excited going to Walmart because I was like I see you know, the movies always coming like I want to see what Walmart is all about and it's a huge store it's just like everything that you want it's in there not, not everything but kind of like everything you know clothes phones laptops um, you know, game though, like, I love her, yeah. and then, like, weeks went by, it wasn't, like, it wasn't an okay situation for me, I did not like how I was treated, I did not feel, like, I'm valued, I, you know, I was always homesick, depressed, and I remember I used to, like, write a lot, which I was never the person, like, I never used to, like, write things a lot, but, like, I ended up getting to that point, because I used to share with my family, but, like, I don't want to like tell them anything because I was like, I'm so far away, like me opening all these things and I'm just stressing them more. But like, it was in an okay situation, like, it wasn't a good fit for me. It was, mm -mm. it was too much, man. Like, I know I have to understand that culture differences are like, England is that like, oh, is it? Like, it's just like, you know, you cannot, like, there is a point where if you try. And then you get so trained that you just like fed up. Like it's just like I am done, you know, I am done trying. It's not working, this will not change. What needs to happen is for me to remove myself from this situation. So after two months to three months of um thinking things were gonna change, I was like, okay, fine, you know what? I can't anymore. I reached out to my LZC and I told her, and then she was like, okay, you know. We can help you uh, relocate and look for another house for me, which was like the best decision of my life. Leaving the house, oh my gosh, like it was child was very much disrespectful. Like she would uh, literally physically like hit me, which wasn't okay with me. Like, no child, no, no, no. Um, like, even like the words that was like she would say it wasn't like it was just a situation that you know. I know some people could plan it, but I couldn't stand it. Like, I was like, nope, I am getting out of here and I'm leaving. Packing my bag and going because I know there's a great family out there which will appreciate me, you know. So I left. And yeah, that's the story about my first house with me that I had when I got to the state. So I, I think I was with them for like two months. No, not two months. Yeah, two months because I. I was in October and I left in January, maybe three months, like close to three months, but yeah, it didn't last long because it's like, I'm not gonna keep on crying myself to bed every night, like I don't have wings, I don't feel what to distress with, like I'm making some even in the house, like it's just not okay, like no, so I go cry, so I left. Guys, that's like my first story time about the first house movie that I had being okay, uh, make sure that you do subscribe i do have you know i've had two different house families after that so i can also share my experience of how that went but trust me from there it got better it was like it went from i want to pack my bags and go back to south africa to oh now i get here we can get this from from amazon <laughs> but yeah yeah guys this is all today's video bye guys i'll see you all in my next video bye